Like, maybe it was a case like he was losing concentration and maybe Super Saiyan 3's power drain was so great he couldn't actually charge it or charge anything, but then maybe he shouldn't have been in Super Saiyan 3 for that to begin with. I have no goddamn idea. Oh yeah, Chef Goku versus Kid Buu and Vegeta versus Kid Buu into one stage. They did, which is odd. You think they actually would relegate those to two different fights, but they did not. Um, alright. Anyway, we got this! Funny, because Hercules has no 3D model in this game whatsoever. Trust me, I looked. Boy, did I look. But one thing leads to another, and this happens. Oh god, I don't even know where to begin with the fucking Russian dolls here. I, I don't even know where to begin. You think in theory Kid Buu would get a power drop from this? Like, right? Oh god, what if this this caught what if this did cause a power drop and that's how the boys were able to actually beat him? Why do I have these good ideas? God damn it. Anyway, at least we're the ones using Kid Buu here. I would hate to actually use Fat Buu. Unless we're using Vaporize, that'd be cool. Alright. Going for it. Give us super attacks. Uh, I will see what I can do. Oh yeah, you know, I've gotten this whole way. I haven't even really addressed the music yet. I should probably do that at some point in time. So, there'll be more to talk about with music in this game, specifically when we get to Raging Blast 2. And that's because of a very specific reason, you know, the, the Amamoto lawsuit. Which would be very hilarious to cover, by the way. Like, I don't know, okay. Let me just do this from here. Anyway, what I was gonna say, oh yeah, that's right, this is actually comes, holy fuck. Um, I'm gonna say the music in this game isn't necessarily the worst I've heard a Dragon Ball Z game ever. Like, I think this soundtrack is definitely better than what you got in, like, Budokai 3. Oh my god, everything combos, I love it so much! So, during the streams, I was also uh, playing around with Gogeta a lot, and fucked up enough, everything with Gogeta actually combos. Like, most everything combos except for, like, doing a uh, rolling hammer, which I get that. But it's just really weird that, like, Kid Buu here and Gogeta just feel the actual, like, most normal. I'm not sure if that's a design decision where they're less reliant on, you know, the pre-programmed chain canceling system, or if maybe there was an oversight where they actually do just actually have their BT3 hits on. Either way, I'm fine with this. Hi. <laughs> right, maybe I should show this because it's like actually kind of cute. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, my cat has decided to join me for uh, th this let's play. Hi, River. How are you doing? River. Hey. We we have a uh, pussy cam now, folks. This is very important. River. No, you just gotta plop down. Taylor made him this porch. Uh, this per porch perch on my um, table since I'm, I'm not really using um, finger this stand area right here because rivers gets uh, gets aggro by the birds it's funny but I'm probably gonna gut it and make it back into like a big green hold thing again so cute though unfortunately every single nudge he does uh, if he's not on the blanket I think it will actually like reverberate through the table and be picked up on the microphone so that sucks my god, we really are not even two hours into this and we're on the mission, last mission. How do we do that? No, seriously, how the fuck do we do- It took forever and a half to get through the Namek Saga. How did this go so quickly? That is so weird. No word of a lie, I might start tackling the what if scenarios today. I did not think I would do that, but okay. Finish a little damage. Yeah, no, that's not, that's, uh, that's not happening. This level, however, might take a hot minute, so. If I'm gonna be real with you guys, the Kibu fight went from being pretty fun and exhilarating out of the gate, and I feel like they blew their load a little bit early, because that second half of the fight is just a constant slog with either trying to gather energy for the spirit bomb, or waiting for Goku to charge energy. And it's really fucking annoying and I hate it.
Use the spirit bomb. This planet, we're, we're not even on this planet anymore. Okie dokie. Uh, was I gonna say anything earlier? Uh... You know, you Goku, you pulled energy from fucking local planets before, like with uh, Frieza, yeah? If I'm being honest, I don't really like this way the way they handled the spear bomb for this. Okay, get it. Everyone let me energy, but like Yeah. Also, unfortunately, one of the most overplayed memes ever in anime history. I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not. It's rather grueling, if I'm being completely honest here. They just randomly... And then was watching the playback. The Kibu just randomly gained, like, an extra health bar. Like, I feel like he just ran magically got her uh, health bar back. That's kind of weird. Nah, don't worry about it. It was just kind of weird. Honestly, keeping these damage values, I could probably actually kill Kid Buu in like a couple, like a minute or two. Yeah, now I'm keeping a close eye on it. So I feel like he just randomly ticked up a health bar like recently. Yeah, I'm watching it. No, he's taking regular damage so far. I thought, like, he's gonna randomly regenerate health in the middle of this. Wait, what do I have right now? Damn it. Nothing fun. And of course, we'll never be able to replicate just how fucking brutal this match was. Oh, yeah, we're back at the... Now we're back up. Anyway, so chat, how are you doing today? <laughs> right, also for anyone on YouTube who's watching this, uh, I would like to remind everyone that, again, the form of chat that you see is not nearly the last form of chat that we'll get, period. Like, again, this is an ever-changing process. If if chats is still intrusive or if it's too large, we can make adjustments. Even though it's unfortunate because, like, right now, I'm recording this. The time I'm recording this, like, the, I've still only posted, like, the first part of Let's Play. That'll change pretty soon, obviously. Oh, here we go. And you know, thank you. Oof, blue shirt. Wish we had this regular. Sl I really wish we just could get regular battle damage outfits. Meteor comet? Hell yeah! Vegeta gets utterly violated in this fight. I gl I'm glad he tags he's tagging out. He gets choked out by fucking Kid Buu for like an uncomfortable amount of time. Like, dude, this is fucked. Like, genuinely, this fight's a little hard to watch at points. Like, I'm not saying that like in a way that's like, oh, I'm offended by this. Like, no, just genuinely, like, holy fuck, you got brutality here. You didn't say the safe word. God damn it. I love how because of this game's fucking dumb mechanics, he's completely stuck beneath me. Oh, you want me to get use uh let me energy. Well, that's not happening now, I guess. I'm gonna be uh, okay. I've said this before. I've always like preferred the version of that in like Budokai 2, where like he doesn't really gesture or anything to, in order to just make the bomb detonate. Like, it's always more sharp in that regard, but that's just me. So, unfortunately, this is the only way to really whittle down his energy, or his health enough. I mean, I could keep playing, but, yeah. How many, how many games in the past actually stuck Goku in Super Saiyan after he did that? I know there's a couple. I want to say Budokai 2 minimum, Budokai 3 also. But, like, he would, he would do Super Spirit Bomb and it would successfully go off. Oh yeah, let me just charge up the max power right the fuck now. Like 
Can I get this to land? Doubt it. Nope. Oops, I whipped. Everyone's dead. Actually, it's funny. Uh, even in that situation, they would not be out of options because, you know, remember, Ultimate Gohan is back on Earth. Like, they just very... Will this cross up? No, it didn't. Worst case scenario of Goku and Vegeta failed. I mean, Ultimate Gohan is literally right there. And I'm pretty sure King Yama would not mind, like, just shipping out Goku and Vegeta again from Otherworld to put an, put an end to him. Alright, there we go. This should end. Hopefully. Maybe. Yes, I am in fact still a little bit, uh, still a little bit upset that yeah, that would have been a much better end game having Ultimate Gohan helping in the fight against this, as well as Go Tanks, Goku also like just rotating out Super Saiyan threes, but you know that wouldn't be as uh, climactic, even though it totally could be. You know, instead of focusing on Goku being the hero of the of the day, like share the glory with all three of them, actually establish more characters as the main characters. There's a good old thumbs up. After all that, you're smiling. You're smiling. You blew up Kid Boo with the spirit palm, and you're smiling, and you're laughing. And they never had issues again, ever again. The end. Okay, well, that was, that was great, I guess. Oh boy, okay, that... <laughs> that mission wouldn't be nearly so bad, except it genuinely takes a good, like... That was on hard mode. The CPU in this game genuinely, like, takes for fucking ever to respond to, to anything, so... Yeah, yeah, it's about kind of what I expected, so... Two hours to crush that, oh my god. That was insanely fast. Not even, actually, counting um, boot-up time for, for the stream, too. Holy shit, okay. All right, so we are now at the end game. Uh, I wasn't gonna start tackling this today, but genuinely, we kill that so fast. We have more than enough time to start this. So you know what? I think that's the game. I think that's the game plan. So we're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna go get a snack. We get a drink. We go to the bathroom. Look at this five minutes. We'll, we'll give it like a good five minute five minute break, and then we'll come back. We're gonna start the what ifs, and boy. If you are a Yamcha fan, I am so sorry for your loss. What do I mean? I think you'll see what I mean. Alright, be back in a minute. <laughs> 